Today I'm going to show you how I stamp my signature in oil paint, like this. I'm going to be using regular stamps and regular oil paint and I'm going to mix the oil paint in with a few different mediums uh, to see how the different mediums affect the way the oil paint uh, stays onto, onto the stamp and then also how it uh, stamps. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I stamp my signature in oil paint on canvas once the painting is finished, like this. I start off with some paint that I've mixed in, uh, some solvent. I'm using liquid, I think, on this. Uh, and then I just lightly apply it to um, the surface of a stamp, right? And the way that you have to do it is you have to make sure that it's not put on too thick onto the stamp and or too thin, right? So if it's too thin, it won't show up on the canvas enough. Although that's not necessarily a huge problem, and I'll get into that later. And, but if it's too thick, it'll it'll bunch out, sort of score, like bleed out uh, onto the edges, like away from the edges of the letter, so that you have this big kind of blob signature, and that just doesn't work. So it's probably better to air on the too thin side than the too thick side. Once you have the stamp covered, press it firmly against the canvas, but don't press too hard because if you press too hard, it'll squeeze the paint to the edges and then it'll look like like I said it looks like, like a blob I'm just pressing it slight just like the right amount and then you got to pull straight back right now that turned out fine actually and you'll see why in a second right now I'm gonna try a different color so what you got to do is you got to um, wipe off all the paint with uh, with a paper towel and then you got to dip it into uh, some sort of solvent and then keep on wiping it off and you want to make sure that you get all of the uh, paint out from in the little crevices of the of the stamp which can be really difficult depending on how um, complicated the text is now in this clip you'll be able to see how I mixed the paint so that it's a consistency that works for the stamp you can try anything you want um, but what's worked for me is something similar to this so basically uh, a bit of paint and then I put uh, some I'm gonna mix a color. No, I'm gonna mix like a pink for this one, I think. And then I'm definitely using Liquin for this. I don't know whether you have to use Liquin. It does work well because it's not sticky at all. I've used other uh, mediums, and they're they, if they're sticky, they won't work. You don't want them sticky, and they'll leave little ridges. Like Liquin's good because it just kind of just melts into the canvas. Now I'm going to put on some, some of the red paint uh, and you can see again how I do it. And it's a long clip, but it's worth watching just so you can see exactly the consistency and the thickness that I'm applying. And um, I believe that this is a good uh, example of the uh, ideal thickness that you can use.
Now you'll see in this clip that um, that consistency was not actually the best. So you live and learn, uh, learn from your mistakes. Uh, watch when I press it down. Now I press it down the right way, right? But I'm not pressing it hard enough or there wasn't enough paint on it. I think in this case I wasn't pressing hard enough because I didn't, because it's, it's hard to get the balance between not too hard or not too uh, soft. You see there's not enough paint on there. But it doesn't actually matter um, if there is enough paint on there. And you'll see why in a little while. Because um, it actually is good if, if it isn't completely covered. Now i got to wipe it off and try again. It's, if you, as long as you use liquid uh, or some medium, it's pretty much easy to uh, remove. But you've got to make sure that the canvas you're working on, the painting you're working on, is completely dry before you do this. Otherwise, you could end up with a big mess. <laughs> So now I'm going to reapply more paint onto the stamp just to make sure that it's fully covered. And this time I'm probably, uh, this is, I filmed this a while ago. This is probably uh, uh, a lot thicker. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> I haven't actually watched this footage. Here I've skipped ahead. You can see that I put it on pretty thickly. So let's see how this works. Okay, so that worked just right. Now, what you need to do, what I've been talking about all this throughout the video about how it doesn't need to be um, completely filled in is you just take it afterwards and then you fill in the individual letters. Now, it, that, could, that could work if, if your letters are like mine and they're bold, but if they are thin letters or like if your signature is like, I don't know, like if, if the stamp you're using is your signature and your signature is... Um, like in cursive or something, then it's going to be more difficult. But with mine, because they're block letters, it works fine. Just filling them in after the fact. And then uh, it turns out really well, usually.
Okay, so the last bit is I dip it into some sort of solvent. I'm using Zestit, which is a UK uh, product, which is non-toxic, um, but it's pretty strong. It's almost as strong as turpentine or uh, odorless mineral spirits. You got to really make sure that it uh, cleans out all the crevices, gets all the paint out of the crevices, because otherwise they'll start cake they'll dry and then they'll start caking up, and then your uh, your stamp will no longer work. I don't know if turpentine or, or mineral spirits would uh, like hurt or damage the stamp itself because it's made out of like some sort of rubber. But um, this non-toxic stuff is probably really good for that because it doesn't damage it, but it does clean the uh, paint off. And you can see I'm scrubbing it. But you can see that there's like a little bit of paint still stuck in the middle of the eye. See that in the A. See I'm trying to get it out. Uh, that's the difficult part is that if there are little uh, nooks and crannies and crevices, it's just kind of difficult to get the paint out. So you got to take, I'll take my um, my paint mixer spatula and that's pointed and then I can kind of gently get out the, get the paint out of the crevices. You can see I'm re-dipping it here just to make sure that I get all the paint out of it. It's really important to get all the paint out of it if you want to use it. And um, this stamp, by the way, was originally on a um, stamp, like standard stamp holder thing. And I still have a smaller one. You know what I mean? Like a handle. Um, but it works better like this anyways because you can uh, I can apply pressure with my fingers onto like, sort of every individual letter or whatever section of the, of the stamp from the back. But I do use a stamp, a smaller stamp the same, with the same logo on it um, to stamp my signature on the canvases. And it works fine, and it, does, it is on the handle, you know, so it's, it's rigid effectively, and it works just as well. So uh, the problem is, is that when you put the um, stamp, when you clean the stamp in the uh, solvent, even if it's a non-toxic sort of soft solvent like this one um, that I'm using, which is zested again, um, Z E S T dash I T zest it. Uh, even if you use that, it still um, erodes the uh, glue on the back of the stamp itself, and then eventually the stamp basically just separates and falls off of the stamp holder, the the handle. So it's kind of not a perfect process in terms of the equipment, but but it really does work in terms of just as long as you you're willing to get your hands dirty and use the stamp like I'm using it. So eventually you get the stamp to look clean enough. There's probably a little couple bits on it that I could still clean off, judging by the look. Like on that S, you can see there's a little bit there. I don't know. But anyways, it'll work fine. You can see through the, um, like in the crevices, I've definitely gotten out all the paint from the crevices that, that I can see. And if you look in the hole in the A, you can see that I've cleaned that really well. So that's what you got to do if you want to be able to use a stamp like indefinitely and not have to buy new stamps constantly and large stamps are pretty expensive so. Okay so lastly I'll just show you what I started at the beginning of the video which is the actual signature on a painting. It's my calla lilies painting and you can see how I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm filling in the paint. Um, you can see how the stamp has left really good outlines that I can just fill in. Um, and that actually gives it a bit more authenticity because it's, it's actually is pretty much hand painted at this point uh, in as a finished product. So it really is sort of my signature after all, you know, although and, you know, I haven't really addressed why I use the stamp is just because I like the um, I like my logo a lot because it's really bold and clear. But the reason it's good for the canvas is because um, once you take a picture of the uh, painting and you put it online um, in the future. Um, optical character recognition is going to be uh, really uh, easy for artificial intelligence or whatever to see and therefore if you do a, a, a an image search it's going to be able to recognize um, the text Jesse Wall really clearly um, because I'm using these stamps so it's actually sort of a technological consideration as much as it is a, a sort of I suppose advertising but also aesthetic consideration uh, my whole sort of ethos is sort of an industrial one as much as it is an aesthetic one i just have always loved manufacturing and industry and i love the idea of having a logo a sort of precise sort of machine made looking logo on my paintings just because it pleases me to do so <laughs> 
it satisfies my fetish for industry for manufacturing you know so that's part of the reason i do it but it certainly will lend itself towards recognizability um both by the human eye but just as importantly at by um the eye of artificial intelligence and its optical character recognition so th those are some things to maybe consider or at least um, be amused by <laughs> Okay, so I've skipped forward. You can see um, that I'm finishing up the G and the H, and it looks pretty nice. Although I'm not really super keen on brown necessarily as a color or whatever. Um, usually I like doing sort of more, I guess, more colorful things. Although, you know what, really I just uh, choose whatever color um, I like at the moment for that painting, you know. I'll, sometimes I'll do bright colors. Sometimes I did a really beautiful gray on a small painting um, that I did. It's called um, Hydrangeas at Arley, Herbaceous Border. And I just somehow mixed up this near miraculous kind of ash rose color that I just love. Uh, and that really complemented the painting really well, too. But, you know, you just choose whatever you want to choose. I hope this has been helpful for anybody who has thought about doing this before but hasn't found any information on the internet about doing it. I hadn't found anything about showing how to use stamps with oil paint. So I hope this is helpful. Here's a little surprise addendum. It's the original uh, beginning that I recorded for this video. Today I'm going to show you how I stamp my canvases. But first, here's a couple clips of Stitches Carnival. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to see new videos every day. Check out jessewall.com and click on the links below for more information about my work. Please consider supporting my work at Patreon, the link is right there. To suggest a topic, please head over to Patreon as well for more information. Thanks for watching.